All right. Now that we've done all this work, let's uh, take a look at what the instructions say. On adding shadows and highlight, it says consider setting the content layer. And again, this is not the content layer that you're turning in. I'm referencing the pattern or image or whatever else you've used to warp around the uh, figure. In this case, it's all those little wiggly line pattern that I made earlier. Consider setting this to overlay mode. And the reason you can do that is that I'm not requiring that your colors remain authentic to the original pattern or image that you used. Now, if your client wants that, you can't do this step. But uh, in my case, try it. See if it looks good. Uh, all right. Um, if it doesn't produce the effect you were looking for, try re-importing the displacement map into your work and placing it under the content layer. Or in my case, I put it over with multiply and it had a quite nice effect on it. Uh, and you can do some touch-ups to affect that. We've, we've done all this. So let's take a quick look at what it might look like at this point. If we were to grab uh, the, black, the black and white image, again, here we go, and then drag a copy of it all the way down, and then set our main piece to overlay. Would that look any better as compared to normal? Overlay? Normal? Overlay? Normal? I think overlay is too bright. I'm going to leave it at normal. In that case, I don't need this, which I could have set to normal and said multiply. And it shouldn't affect that. Throw that away. Okay, so in my case, I don't think I need to do that, but it's an option for you, for all of you. Uh, for shadows and highlights, you can also use the black and white image you created, which we have, to create selections that can be used to get the highlights and shadows. Well, we already did that in like the first video on this. Uh, on this, again, just grab the black and white image, use your color selection, and then you can create these beautiful little rolling lights, which can have their fills adjusted as necessary to add or remove realism to it. All right, and now once you've done all that, you can merge the layers down and make sure they don't have any adjustment layers, name them correctly and send in a copy. All right, what does that mean in our case? Well, it means that we're about done. So uh, let me save what we have. Uh, now there's a lot more work left on this. This is nowhere near finished. All of this would need to be rotated and smushed around using liquify this should look like it's uh rotated <laughs> sorry this should be smushed to make it look like it's following the rotation of the body and liquify this should be tucked under all of these folds need to be dealt with uh there are a couple more areas that could uh, benefit from a slight rotation of the puppet warp uh like right in here that would look really nice so there's a whole lot more work to be done on this that said though to show you how to do it uh, let me pretend it's finished. I'm going to make a new copy, Control Alt Shift E at the very top, and this will be the final piece. Control A, Control C, and that's Edit Select All, Edit Copy, Control N, File New, and Paste. So this is the completed image. So what's that one going to be named? Let me check why it looks like it's called Mock Up. And I, I frequently get students typing it out differently. As long as it says Mock Up, I'm happy. Now, I also need a copy of the pattern. Good thing I've got that right inside of here. Well, that's the small one. Let's not use that one. I want the full-sized one. Good thing I labeled these. Pattern fill, pattern, ah, I missed. Pattern fill one. So how do I get this? Well, I can actually drag this over and drop it in and it will uh, load it over. So I've got that, but I need to rasterize this. I don't want just the pattern fill. Rasterize layer, okay. So pattern fill. Now what's the uh, last one? I need the original photo, and I could get to that easily enough. I'm gonna grab the original photo, move up to my uh, new untitled file, and drop it in as well. And I missed, <laughs> so let me move that over ah, to where it should be. Let me throw away this background. So what are these supposed to be called? Mockup, content, and original photo, which I happen to have already named it. So once I've got all of those, uh, how do I want to turn it in? Well, if you want to have fun, you can wow me by having this uh, off and then, or having that on, however you want to do it. I usually put, I uh, recommend just having the mockup and then I can take a look at it and turn on the content and all that good stuff. All right. 
Now, keep in mind that this content is not warped in any way. I've had students turned in the warped one. Um, that's acceptable. I'd prefer if it's the original unaltered one, if you can manage it. Don't lose sleep over it, though. If you don't have it anymore, don't kill yourself trying to get it. Just toss in whatever you have. It should look, though, like essentially the pattern, even if it's warped around a bit. It shouldn't have any shading or uh, highlights or shadows on it. All right, once I've got all that, I have to name it correctly. This is week 10, so 10. Last name. First name, we'll call this version 01. It's a Photoshop document, it's good to go. Now for those who are curious, the image size on this was uh, 12 inches by 18 inches at 300 resolution. Um, that's fine as long as it's small enough to upload. If at this point I take a look at it and it's some massive size, it's five megabytes, it's perfectly acceptable. If it was like 400 megabytes or something, I would want to come back into this one and go to image image size then turn on resample and just like drop the size on this thing down like maybe 10 inches by six inches or something so then it would be small enough to fit all right um that is the assignment if you have any questions please 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 ask me i will happily record some more videos to let you know how to uh, adjust things or edit things if you have a problem uh, file uh, you can uh, as long as it's small enough uh, you might want to crop it down to whatever the problem is you can send it in to me through uh, canvas's um, inbox and i will take a look at that you can also email me as long as you put the correct uh, uh, heading in cmpgr236 so that i know it's from you and uh, i'll take a look at it and record a video on that as well all right have fun with this assignment the biggest part of it is probably locating a good image to use i would not recommend using this image because i am very familiar with it and I will immediately gravitate towards all the problem areas. So it's probably better if you use something else. All right. Uh, that said, have fun and let me know if you have any questions. Catch you on the flip side.